Hi everyone, it's Steelbook Steve. Going to do a Steelbook unboxing and review of Spider-Man: Homecoming. This is the latest and greatest Marvel film that has just come out on uh, Steelbook format, and this one here comes to us from Kimchi. It's a Kimchi exclusive number fifty-eight. There we have one of the three or four variant covers from Kimchi with Iron Man and Spider-Man up in the front. Uh, here you're seeing the Kimchi exclusive DVD sticker number fifty-eight, um, and you've got this nice little uh, embossed. Uh, slipcase. So if I, if you can make out it from the reflective light, the Spider-Man logo, Homecoming, is all embossed, and some touches of each character is somewhat embossed. Here's the spine. You can see it embossed as well with the spine, um, as well. So it's a 2D, 3D disc. Uh, the backside here, you can see, we've got the uh, Nova number uh, 58A. Uh, 553 out of 900. So this is the first variant of uh, the multiple editions from uh, Kimchi. Uh, other variants include uh, that haven't come out yet. So if we kind of take this out real quick from, from our uh, cardboard cutout here, we've got some interesting artwork. This is the artwork from the worldwide release. So I think every other steelbook that was released has this type of uh, illustrative uh, drawing by Ryan um, Minerding. It's very reminiscent of the Alex Ross uh, illustrations from the Tobey Maguire, Sam Raimi, Spider-Man series, uh, where he did these little vignettes to summarize Spider-Man, the events in Spider-Man 1 and Spider-Man 2. Uh, although these are not, like I said before, it's not Alex Ross, it's Ryan uh, Minor Ding here. Um, not a super fan of this particular type of artwork. Um, I thought the images themselves lend themselves to much cooler dynamics than an illustration. I'll show you the front real quick so you can compare. I mean, in my opinion, I think that's way cooler where you have Iron Man and Spider-Man, uh, albeit maybe a CG image, uh, somewhat better in my opinion than an illustration. Uh, for this for the steel book um, Backside here vulture and spider-man. I do like the the dynamic there. It's very cool, but again, I would have preferred it being more of a Picture as opposed to a drawing uh, it is a matte steel book uh, and there are some highlights of um, metal Metallic highlights that are found throughout but it is not a high gloss So it kind of loses some points in my book for that. So again, it's the worldwide release just in its own exclusive slip cover a couple different variants. If you're a big fan, if you're waiting for it, the Film Arena uh, version is coming out pretty soon. So there's the regular, there's a three disc, a 3D disc. So I would wait on that one. Um, I just couldn't wait, so I opened this one up. Here's the interior. Uh, kind of interesting, this spider web tech uh, view, almost like a, you know, influenced by Iron Man, if you will, with the organics of the web. An interesting image. You can see the blue texture of the... Uh, the web of Spider-Man there. I think there could have been a little bit more dynamic image placed on the inside as opposed to just being blue web. And the goodies. You've got some cool little collectibles. Uh, what's this here? This is Spider-Man Homecoming. I think this might be a mini comic. So yep, that's what it is. It's a mini comic book. We saw this with the release of, I think, uh, The Wolverine. Uh, had its own mini comic. Um, and this one too has its own little mini comic book. Not bad, like a little cool little, you know, extra that you can get. Uh, and here are some postcards, I believe. So let's open up the postcards and see what we got. So uh, they're plain back, as you can see. There's nothing interesting about them on the back side, which I think is a missed opportunity. They could have had something there. And the front, we've got these very high gloss images here. They are they almost look like pictures, like whenever you print out like a, a little stock picture, that's exactly what they kind of feel like. So um, again, not the best quality. Uh, here's an illustration and here's some cool images of the film. Uh, these are all like uh, concepts maybe, concept drawings, and then poster images. I think they could have done a little bit more. They could have done a double side on that just to make it that much better or cooler. Uh, in my opinion, uh, I would wait for the film arena. The film arena, I believe, is going to blow everything else out of the water. Till then, I think the best version is the kimchi, and then from there, it's basically just a standard Steelbook edition. Uh, that's it for Steelbook Steve. Thanks so much.